hi guys after installing react native on your system uh, now we will see what are components and how to initialize the app how to run the app on the emulator so emulator should be there in your computer means uh, it comes with android studio so you should install it and uh, you should start it also it looks something like this so this is an emulator you can see here and uh, this is my first app which I have loaded with a switch component components are nothing but uh, it's an HTML like text but not actually HTML so if you'll write div or p tag inside it then it will give you some runtime errors so don't use it I won't recommend you to do that now we will see how to initiate how to run the app on the emulator so click on this getting started button it will give you a command line code which you have to execute not this one but on the next tab I'll I think it is somewhere here yeah react native in no 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 not this one but uh, yeah react native run android you should go into your app root directory then you should start your terminal here then you should write react native run when you will execute this command uh, it will install the apk on your emulator as well as it will start the react server react server is important because as soon as you do any changes in your code it will reflect in your emulator after every refresh so if i'll refresh this emulator it will show my changes for refreshing the emulator you have to press um, r button twice so i'll show you from the basic how it looks this is the basic page which comes when you install react native folders and files in your computer so if you want to do any changes you can change it here in, in this code i'll change it uh, something my name my shra and i'll remove this tag from here and i'll again write some texts let's be wildly build some apps i'll save it and i'll also refresh this unknown codes from here uh, style sheet is required text view is required so this platform is not required i'll remove from import as well and everything is fine style sheet we have used here view view is used here and text we have used here so these are the components we are using now i'll press r double now you can see my changes are reflecting here now let's take some examples of components so i'll go in this website i'll take the switch from here for using the switch you have to copy the name I'll paste it here you have to import whatever component you are using so import from the react native and use it use it in your render function I'll use it similar something like this so now my emulator I'll refresh now I'll refresh my emulator and it will print a switch button here but as you can see the switch button is not working on click so I'll go back to the guide and I'll see why it's not working okay so it is a on change value function we can copy this function and we can use this function in our switch component we can this is a new way to call a function es6 I'll call alert inside this function and inside the alert I'll pass value value of this switch button value I'll save it and I'll check what it prints I'll refresh it I'll check it okay it's printing true but uh, the button is not enabling it's not getting true so I will create a construction constructor here uh, you can create a constructor C-U-N-S-T-R-U-C-T-O-R constructor this way 
you can pass PR odds props then SUPR we can talk about this later why we are using this props passing props and super props now you have to create a state uh, let me tell you again that uh, if you don't know about states and props then you should consider learning react.js because react native is nothing but react.js only except the components and styling modules so I'll create a state this dot state equal to uh, let me give some name so I'll take it as WITCH switch value switch VA and QA value equal to false by default the value of this switch is false but uh, now I'll use state values so you can call this dot state dot switch value and uh, you should refresh this emulator and check if your code is working so it has given you some error first step I have to just unexpected token 2025 this is 25 return switch is here switch is here alert value on change value and value you are passing it's alert alert was printing so it has no problem here okay uh, this is an object so we cannot use equal to sign we should use this and uh, this semicolon is also not required I mean it's not the way to create an object this is the actual way so I'll refresh this page again and now you can see the page has been rendered I'll click on this button it's printing the value true but it's not enabling because our state is not getting changed it's still false so I'll create another method see uh, the name of the function will be or the name of the method will be s w i t c h you can take you can you can use any name you can give it any name you want uh, switch change say change okay switch change so i'll create i'll pass value inside this and i'll change the state for mutating the state you can use this dot set state don't mutate this state directly otherwise you will get errors or the state won't work so do it this way this dot set state inside the set state is a function so inside this set state we will pass an object and inside this object i'll update this value with the actual value of this switch after click so this seems good and we will I'll call this function inside my switch function and uh, as a parameter I'll pass value I'll save it and I'll refresh this page again to check if my code is working oh my code is working properly so you can take a look or this is the way how to use the component in react native right now for switch value we can do this way also i can copy this switch here i can pass it here i can remove it from here and uh, you can see this will work uh, this is a new way of mutating the states but if i'll change the name of this value it will give me the error so make sure that naming convention is correct otherwise your code will not work and you will get errors right but if you are changing this name then if the names are different then you can use this way this will work this will work but uh, as of now I'll keep it this way this seems this seems cool and uh, my code is working fine so this is about components we will talk about components later when I'll be using in our application let's meet in the next video and we will be creating something till then bye shabakhair good night